What's up guys, in this video we're gonna have leaks, we're gonna have information on Zim and Cronus, and we're gonna have cosmetic leaks and upcoming changes into Rainbow Six Siege's Year 7 Season 4. If you wanna watch a specific topic, make sure to check out the timestamps in the comments and during the video. So let's get into it. So, the Zim and the Cronus adapters have been the most discussed subject in Siege. And why? It makes sense. Zim and Cronus have both had the fundamental functions of cheating by being able to use a mouse and keyboard on a game that strictly does not want you to. Although Cronus has mouse and keyboard, it also has scripts that give a bigger advantage like recoil scripts, crouch spam, lean assist, and easier run. So it's pretty easy to say both of these devices are cheating. So why hasn't Siege banned it? First, in game you can tell if you're being DDoSed because it's an attack that crashes or slows your Wi-Fi. You can't tell between a Zim and a controller player. You can tell if they're jittering like crazy in a gold or a plat lobby, but you can't tell when you start getting into that diamond champion low. This is because some controller players use a lot of high senses, and a lot of Zim players start to use more smooth, slower senses. You don't really spam report a player. It isn't reviewed by Ubisoft, because even if the player gets banned, they're just going to make an alternate account or a smurf and just cheat again because they know Ubisoft cannot hardware ban somebody on a console unless it's administered by Xbox themselves. Why can't Xbox or PlayStation ban these players themselves? Well, I don't really know about PlayStation because I'm an Xbox player, but I'm guessing the terms of services are around the same. As you can see in a conversation with Microsoft customer support, they said the Zim Apex is just a simple way to play a game and having multiple ways to play a simple game is considered a positive for the community. If they consider this a personal preference, there is no terms of service breaches occurring. See, so just put in a bit of a pickle here because of these rules, and it's the main reason why they can't ban more than half of the cheating console community. The players that have been banned so far have been banned for DDoSing or macroing. You can't get banned for Zim, it's just not possible. Using a Cronus for MK is considered not cheating, but using a macro is. All in all, the community is going to live to see another day until Rainbow comes up with some. The most awaited season op. The new operator which goes by the name of Solis. The Colombian 2 health, 2 speed operator with a P90, no 1.5, nearest primary shotgun and an SMG11 with impact grenades and a bulletproof camera. His ability is the spec IO electro sensor. He can track attacker's utility, can identify 5 and can detect the location of 15. He is stature affected since the helmet runs on batteries, and a lot of this video was recorded days prior to the full release on Monday, November 21st, so there might be a little bit more info new on this op. A possible theory is this operator is going to be able to track heat signatures left by attackers. We don't know if he can look good at all because of the gun choice. He has an SMG11 which is pretty good, he has a P90 with no 1.5 or any zoom factors, and he has Mirror's primary shotgun. Due to this nature, we don't know if anyone's even going to try to use him. The last two subjects are going to be the new armor changes applied to the operators and the new cosmetics for guns and ops, and maybe even drones. This season has a lot of unique cosmetics and I've even managed to find some event leaks. Full disclosure, I'm not claiming to have found any of these leaks and if they have the credits on them, that's where they came from. I'm just relaying information I've found. New cosmetics and skins are very unique and I personally love them because it's just showing that Siege is trying to make their game better. There's also going to be drone skins. I've only managed to find one drone skin so far, but there's definitely going to be more leaked in the upcoming days. The new health changes are the most important to me because they're going to change the roaming and the anchoring game. So, the biggest ops taking hits on this list are Osa, Sledge, Thunderbird, and Lucy. So, as you can read through the list, I'm just going to name off the most important ones. T-Bird goes from a 3-speed to a 2-speed op. Lucy has to stay in sight more often because she's going to be taking the biggest hit going from a 3-speed to a 1-speed. Personally, these two ops are the most impacted on the community, but read through the list to see if any of your mains are on. As of Year 7 Season 4, there's going to be cross-play and cross-progression for consoles, considering they've pushed it back for two years and now they're getting tremendous support from the community. So, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to move content from platform to platform with no difficulty. Full disclaimer, PlayStation can play with Xbox and PC can play with Stadia as of 2022. You cannot play PC with controller considering that would be extremely unfair. This is everything that's sensitive about next season, the rest is quality of life changes that are going to be released by Siege themselves. So, thank you so much for watching and peace.